Hey y'all, hey! You might remember this photo from the Erin Condren Hello Kitty launch earlier this year. I also shared with you during that time my sticker books from high school. Here I am again y'all and I got more from my high school days that I want to share with you today. But first, I'm going to share with you the new Hello Kitty sports collection by Erin Condren. So first, I love these little colorful mini gel pens. They are in neon colors and I love, love, love how cute and little they are. I have not written with them yet, but I'll be sure to give you a review soon on that. And this is a Hello Kitty and Friends sticky note booklet. I love how it prominently features all the characters I love, like Hello Kitty, Bots Maru, Peko, Pachaco, just so many cute characters by Sanrio that I love featured here. And this will definitely help me stay organized and y'all know that I love purple. So this little booklet is essential to my planning and journaling needs. And y'all know we love sticker books. So here is a Hello Kitty and Friends book featuring the color teal. The cover says you can never have too many friends and it has all of Hello Kitty's friends featured inside this book on 12 different sheets and 416 super cute stickers. They're all color coded and color themed. Um, you can decorate a monthly spread with a different character throughout the year. I love how the colors are really bold and I also like that there is metallic or foiling on many of the stickers. This sticker book features Hello Kitty, My Melody, Little Twin Stars, Tuxedo Sam, Hangio Don, Karopi, Pachaco, Bats Maru, Pom Pom Perin, Chaco Cat, and Kuromi. These are all Sanrio characters and they are all Hello Kitty's friends and they are characters that I grew up knowing and loving throughout high school which I'll talk about a little bit more later. I found one of my old Kuropi candy tins and I wanted it to hold my washi. And so these two washi rolls or this washi tape duo features 16 feet of Sanrio characters in gold foil. One is like a cream color and the other is a coral pinkish color. Very, very pretty. Of course, I need something to store all of these new goodies in and this pencil case is the best for it. It says kind people or my kind of people and I so agree with that sentiment that features the same characters that I mentioned earlier that are featured in the stick sticker book. So on the inside is a pocket. There are spaces for you to slide pins in and there's a very deep pouch area for you to store additional things. I'm pretty sure that I can get all of what I've gotten in this video inside this pouch. I have always admired but never owned a stand-up pencil case. And I love this one that features Hello Kitty in the colors pink and lavender, and it's very easy to use. So I filled it with some things that I already had and I essentially only had to pull the flaps on the side down, which pulled the pink part of the pouch down so that it would reveal the contents of the pouch. And then I was able to stand it or sit it straight up on a flat surface so that I could easily see what was inside. In order to close it again, all I had to do was pull the pink top up over the contents and then zip my pouch. This is so great for travel. This sports collection also features a kid's planner, which is so cute to me. I can't wait to share this with my young niece. This planner is so awesome for setting up a young person and preparing to plan as an adult and so it features some support for example there's a, a spreadsheet of how to rock your planner and then there's a feature of all the months of the year that this planner could be used for 
and then there is a sticker page for each month of the year it features the the title of the month some prompt stickers some things that they can uh, write inside those prompts it has cute washi strips that match the theme and the colors it also has date stickers for the monthly spread what a way to prepare a young person and get them excited about planning their daily lives i just love that there's foiling in these stickers as well and also little tabs if they would like to use that um, in addition to what they already have in the planner which i'm going to share with you in a moment because i know that a lot of people will want to know well what's in this planner that i'm going to give my young person Oh, it is so cute, you all. I almost wanted to keep it and fill this out myself. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do a quick flip through of what the pages look like inside this planner. Some of the things that I love about it is that it's extremely colorful and it has such empowering phrases and quotes embedded within it. There's cute little activities that the um, young person can fill out. I'm an English teacher, so you know I love the reading log and the goal tracker. Um, there are just so many different options for things that they can complete inside which will also spark their ideas for how they could use their planner as they matriculate through school and become older so i'm just flipping through all of the pages because all of the activities are very different each month features a different sanrio character and all of the activities also have prompts to support the owner of the planner in completing the activities so they don't have to guess what they have to do but it says on each page what it is that's expected for them to do in that activity i love the messages like we are better together just something to quickly remind a young person to be kind to others and be a friend be sweet keep going in positivity things like that and then i also like that the stickers that came separately that i just shared with you with this planner there's a prompt on the pages to let the young person know where to put those stickers as well so it's almost like um just very interactive as far as uh, what they can do how they can decorate it and more so I just wanted to keep going and share it with you till the end so you can see all this featured here. One of the best parts of this kids planner is they get their own stickers and you don't have to share yours. <laughs> now for the big planners. <laughs> this is an academic planner that could be used for an older young person like a high school student or even a college student. And then some people even um, use the academic planner for their daily needs because they like the setup. I just wanted to show you how the beginning of this planner looks and also give you a peek into what each month's pages and spreads look like so that if this is something you're interested in you could also get this version of a planner as well so this is the monthly page where you do some goal planning and then also the monthly pages or spreads have a, a plethora of lines a to-do list in on each day and it looks like that throughout the book so this planner also features additional stickers in the back um, as we're used to seeing in, in Erin Condren planners. And so you'll have that at your fingertips as well as I want to share with you the uh, empowering quotes 
on each moth as well in this planner. Next, we're going to take a look into the life planner and this is the vertical version also uh, I love my matching paper clips <laughs> I love Hello Kitty and all of her friends so you just saw Choco Cat on the last planner and then you'll see her here but um, I love the gold foiling throughout this planner and also just how pretty and colorful it is so the life planner is a little more open to what you would like to write on the pages um, and not as specific as the academic or the kids planner but again with very nice uh, quotes featured for each month which I'll share with you here as well I really like that they include a perpetual calendar in each planner. This is like a quick view of important things that you would like to jot down for each month. It features all 12 months of the year and a line for each day. This is a great place to put birthdays, important events, or you could be like me and write um, something that you're trying to track daily on each line for each day. Erin Condren planners, the covers are interchangeable. So I love this one. It says chase your dreams with a runner, which is just so magical right now in light of a lot of things happening in the sports world. And then also, I just want to share with you more that I found from my high school stash. You all, I know you're going to look at this and be like, why do you still have all this? Because I just can't let it go. And I do have plans to use it when I don't know. But all of these uh, little notebooks and uh, notepads and all these things were, this was the stationery that I used in high school. So some of it, like here's my old address from when I used to live in North Carolina. And I just love that I kept all of this because literally looking through these things now remind me of my high school days and how I used to write little notes for my friends who were also really into Sanrio. We would uh, decorate the envelopes and the notes to the heavens you all and it, they would all be so cute but you'll see these same characters in in my notepads um 
and all the stationery that you see featured in this collection. Now, some of these characters are not featured, like Picky Bicky, this uh, little mouse. <laughs> He's not uh, in the Erin Condren collection, as well as a few moments ago, you saw a little cute monkey. His name is Monkichi. Um, he also is not featured in the Erin Condren collection. And then also this one is not. This is Spotty Dottie, which I used a lot of. And you can see from how much I tore off at the bottom. But anytime I needed to write a note to a friend, I would just tear one of these sheets out, put stickers all over it, write their name really fancy, what I thought was fancy in high school, and, um, and pass them that note in the hallway. <laughs> And then you can tell this is old because like the Hello Kitty on the cover of that book was yellowed. Um, I've kept all this in a, a cute little storage for a very long time, clearly, because I graduated in 1999. And then here's more. Um, notepad sticker sheets i mean did y'all see that i have a whole drawer <laughs> so, i'm excited to be pulling these things out now and i have plans to use them alongside this uh hello kitty sports collection In my last Erin Condren uh, video that I shared, I showed you my Hello Kitty sticker book, but this is my Peckle sticker book, which I found after I did that video. So I'm excited to share it with you today, featuring all of my favorite uh, Sanrio and some additional stickers. Some of these stickers, I'm now asking myself, like, why did I want these in high school? <laughs> And then also, this book is very shiny and it still looks very new because this was the last one I purchased uh, prior to graduation. And this one, Pachaco, is the one, was my first, maybe second, I can't remember if I got it before the Hello Kitty one, but I use this one the most. So you'll see that a lot of stickers are missing from here because I use it a lot as well as there's some discoloring on the bottom. Y'all, I used to love the Powerpuff Girls and I wanted to be Buttercup. Wait, was it Buttercup? The green one. <laughs> I wanted to be her so bad. <laughs> but anyways, I am just so grateful that I still have these memories in my possession and I could share them with you all today. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave a comment about what you thought about all that I shared. Thanks for joining.